Hey folks, sorry for my absence from YouTube the last couple of days. Stay tuned, I'll show you, I'll tell you why I've been gone and uh, what I've got planned for the coming day. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I have been not feeling good at all the last oh three or four days so I just took some downtime and uh, I my wife knows when I'm really not feeling good when I sleep a lot and I it's and it's totally uncharacteristic of me to even lay down and take a nap in the afternoons and boy I called in sick to work and I would took three naps that day took three naps yesterday and took a nap today I just utterly exhausted and wasted and spent uh, I, I am feeling better getting my energy back and losing a lot of weight because I just haven't been eating uh, if you guys noticed I started a diet about two months ago and I, I didn't announce it because this is a personal thing to me I got too heavy and I just it scared me uh, I needed to get the weight off I've lost 25 pounds already uh, I'm on my way to losing another 25 pounds uh, and just trying to get better get more healthy as far as weight goes as far as heart goes and as far as overall well-being goes because we're staring down the throat of retirement here and uh, I still got a lot of work to do on the homestead uh, just to finalize everything I needed to do that I set out to do when I spoke to you guys about my list of things I wanted to get done this year well this is July okay so we're into the second half of the year I still have plenty of time I've gotten a lot done already a lot done there's not much left to do I ended up adapting or adopting another project and that was building the new goat barn and area for the goats the new goats I got coming to the homestead we'll come into the new goat pasture and I'll show you what I've been up to with what little time I have I haven't got as much done as I'd like to but at this point but I gotta go like gangbusters through the weekend uh, energy providing uh, because I've got scheduled to go pick the goats up on Wednesday so let's go in and I'll show you what I've got going on so we got this gate installed and this was this is for the goat pasture and this is where I'm standing in right now is the pasture in which the goats can go out and go romp and frolic and then these are the little bucks you can see down here I've done quite a bit of work already I'm doing a lot of work behind the scenes I just didn't have the energy to go do a, you know do, do, you know do filming camera for your guys' benefit and uh, I'll probably do some tomorrow I'm gonna get up tomorrow morning uh, while it's cool and do a lot of work out here so I'll most likely bring the camera with me and do some uh, video work as well as getting this thing up and going I at least have my posts and my beam here installed for supporting the roof I got the two beams back there and I got uh, or the two posts and I have a beam to put on top of that but I've got to cut them shorter because uh, the roof I don't think I want the roof that high maybe because it's only going to be a 10 foot by 10 foot roof 
and uh, this area will be divided down the middle by one of these stock panels and then the shed will be divided in half so I, I have to separate the two bucks and there was a reason that I'm going to be separating the bucks and I think I will go into detail about that on a future video that I plan on hopefully doing a collaboration with a gal that is raising goats professionally and selling these goats and breeding goat stock uh, that are papered. And that's what I'm buying is papered bucks. So, so you can see already I widened, I, I actually restored the door back to its original width. But uh, I'm going to be doing some modifications here. I've done some painting of the pieces that go back in there and the additional pieces I'm going to be putting in there as well. But that's going to be all tomorrow's video. We'll do a continuation of, you know, the, the printing, the painting and all the stuff I need to do. Hopefully I can even get uh, a, a look at the, if I have the money to buy the material to build the roof on this. So we'll talk about that in another video. So right now I'm just trying to work on getting this uh, area leveled off in front because my plan is to lay some cement out there and then do a washed rock effect on the cement uh, because I want a nice abrasive surface for the goats to be able as they walking on them they can uh, file down their hoofs so I won't have to do so much hoof care on the goats. And also it keeps them out of the wet, out of the mud, and keeps them dry uh, along with the roof over the top. So I've got a lot of work to do on the shed. Hopefully I'll get it all done tomorrow. And if you notice this little tree right here, it's the madrone tree. I, I went ahead and cut it back and fed all the leaves and the other branches to my other goats and they loved them. Anyway, uh, this tree, this is what's left. I'm gonna leave it for the bucklings. And uh, this bark, it peels right off. And this is what I'm talking about in the previous episode on eating my backyard. This is what you can dry, crumble up, and then steep in some hot water and make a wonderful tea out of this. This is the Pacific Madrone, uh, also the bearberry and also the strawberry tree because it does produce little berries in the winter months, especially when you need them. Oh, there's some Queen Anne's lace right here. And I finally, finally got enough revenue to be able to purchase the rest of my fencing for my fencing projects and now my fencing will be done hey that is another list to check off my new year's resolution video that i uh spoke about at the beginning of the year on this series uh yeah so i've got 660 feet of fencing here and i think that's more than enough that i need to completely fence off the cross fencing and keep the animals where I need to keep them. So that's all dependent on if I'm feeling good and just see how much I can do and what energy level I have. Uh, I don't know if it's the coronavirus. That thing is kind of weird because some people have very minimal um, symptoms. And since I work in the hospital, I'm exposed to uh, every cootie you can think of. So I still wear masks, I still, you know, protect myself, wash my hands and try to stay away from people uh, to keep my distancing and be safe. But it could be that, yeah, because this is how I felt back in February and back in February I was sick the same way. Uh, I missed a day of work. So, so far this year I think I only missed two days of work because I was ill. But I don't know if it was Corona, and I don't know if they're going to test me for it. I hope not. I really don't want to be tested, but if, if I have the antibodies, I have them. But I don't have to go to back to work until Monday, so I'll have plenty of time to recoup. And plenty of time to get some stuff done around the homestead. But then again, it could be just... One of those things, you just caught a little bug and you just feel awful for a couple of days and then 
move on with life. Uh, so that's what's been going on. That's why you haven't seen me the last couple of days. That's what I have planned coming up for the next week. Uh, let me share. I think I'll give you guys a hint of what I'm going to be doing next week. I'm starting a new series and it's called Jerry Rigging Inventions and Innovations. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you who have been following my channel, you'll note that I had got, I had installed a, a gravity feed water system in the bunny bungalow, but it failed. Uh, I ended up going to these uh, top fill water bottles, which are great, except the wa the rabbits go through a lot of water, and I'm having to fill those things two and three times a day. I uh, came up with an idea to um, come up to uh, create an innovation for this concept. I, I didn't invent it, but there's some innovations to the original concept of the gravity feed water system for the bunny bungalow. I'm also going to install the same type of feature for the gravity feed water system to the gobbler gallery. Yep, they're going to get the same uh, setup except with different nipples. The bitty box is the same, I uh, will have the, the same installation. Yep, the same installation as the turkeys. So I've got enough for three setups and they will be auto-filled. Yeah, auto-filled, hands off. And then gravity feed. Stay tuned to those videos because I'm gonna do three separate videos, one for each um, the bunny bungalow, the chicken coop, and the turkey house and then the goats uh i have to keep their water changed so i i can keep their water fresh and probably do it about once every three days so that's not a problem but i just trying to keep all the animals in fresh water and consistent water that way i can take off and go on a little trip and go visit a fan over on the coast or something spend the night over there in a hotel and enjoy the coast weather because I was born and raised on the coast and I miss the beach. I do. I live in the high cascades of the Pacific Northwest and I love it up here, but I do miss that salt air. So I'm going to continue focusing on my uh, repairs like painting. Uh, I noticed at Walmart today when I went down for paint, they didn't have any paint available. The shelves were empty. What's with that? I really only just buy two colors of paint uh, for my homestead and it's the rattle can paint, hunter green and classic red. That's basically the only colors I buy but they're completely out of them. Uh, I don't know if other people are adapting to the same color theme that I have here locally. Could be. I may have to travel to the next county and check their inventory. Well, I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. This is my channel where I get to share with you guys on my adventures of how not to homestead. I'm transparent here. We keep it real. I show you my failures. I also show you my triumphs. And we'll see if these new Jerry Rig innovations and inventions will work as far as uh, successes for you guys to be able to try out. Please uh, subscribe, click that bell icon that alerts you to new videos as I upload them. Also if you click that share button sharing my videos on your social media platforms really helps out the channel. Hey check out the video links I have down below if you're looking for a homestead of your own. I got some good ideas. I stumbled across some good ideas. Hey you know what? I'm still looking for cheap land and cheap houses, and I'm still finding them everywhere. Get this. I found two lots. One's a 40-acre lot, and one's a 5-acre lot. A hundred bucks. That's right. They're out there. Anyway, that's what those videos are about down in the links. 
Hey, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, like the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next adventure. Hopefully I start feeling better and I can start going uh, full steam ahead and get things done. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.